fans and welcome to another episode of Mark's Moral Moments. Now today we're doing something that actually came out January the 1st, so that's yesterday. Uh, and I bought this on the 1st as well, and that is a 10246, and that is Lego Creator Expert Detective's Office. This has got 2,262 pieces. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while because I've actually had one built up and on, this, and on display inside the Lego stores. Well, inside my local Lego store anyway. Uh, so I bought this one there yesterday, I was in there, and I actually got the last one that they had in stock, uh, so I was feeling lucky on that one, I was feeling very lucky on that one really, because uh, I would have been quite upset if I hadn't got this day release, it's, it's more special to me that I got it out there release. Uh, I was going to get this out yesterday, get the video out and get it up yesterday, but um, I haven't been feeling too well over the past few days, so, so you know, I, I felt like I've Let's feel better, get it built up, enjoy it a bit more. So let's see how it builds.
We'll now go to the close-up and show you the details of the detective's office. Here it is then, the absolutely fantastically completed uh, detective's office. This is this is such a good build. It has just taken me about eight eight hours, eight and a half hours to finish. You know, with a couple of breaks in between, you know, just ten minutes here, ten minutes there, just between uh, the six different parts of it. But still, pretty much one sitting, and uh, what an absolutely brilliant build. Uh, I've been so impressed with a a lot of things in in here. Um, you know, just seeing the different ways of how Lego come up with for using um, elements in, in whole new ways. I'm going to get into a couple of those things, but just as a as an overview here, what you get is you got a, a street level uh, with a ground floor, then the first floor here, and then on the top here, you've got a, a second floor, only half the building with a, a roof terrace. It's a greatly designed building with this uh, nice little um archway going through the uh through the center of the building front to back so uh let's get into more detail then so with the ground floor that we have here on the on the street level we've got uh this uh nice little tree here with uh two shades of the leaves there one layered on top of the other we've got another one of these pretty cool um street lamps these are these are pretty standard uh throughout all the modular buildings and also this is a fantastic uh, new design uh, on something this is a uh, a uh, newspaper uh, kiosk thing you know uh, it's got the the print on the front for what it is and you can actually open this up and there's a couple of newspapers in there uh, that can be taken out um, so that is very cool um, bit of detail there of the rooms on the ground floor you do have the, on the left you've got this pool hall here uh, with a, a, a greatly built um, a pool table on the inside uh, I'll just just move to so you can see this um, there we go as you can see it's got a few balls on here well they're not balls they're just uh, the studs uh, but the six pockets on there nice green bears uh, with the uh, the brown wood frame uh, and just above that you've got this uh, this great rotating fan as well the ceiling fan uh, which nice, nicely freely rotates as you uh, yeah pretty easily spins when you when you flick it so that, that's pretty cool and you can also, if you if you wish, you can put this into a, a few different positions. You know, you can have it in the centre or just move it, you know, left and right. But I just prefer it in the centre, just above where the pool table is. Also at the back here, uh, you've got the, the, the dartboard in the corner. And uh, there's a guy there with the uh, with the darts. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's what they're using as a representation for darts. It's just uh, a pair of feathers. But, you know, because it's got the little end on there it looks like looks like a dart and there are a couple more just hooked up on the wall just just there um just just behind where the dart player stands uh which is a cool thing in here as well there's actually uh studs around the floor so you can you can put your minifigures in there um you know and actually have them stood there and hooked in and on the far wall that you can see next to this window there's got a, a trophy cabinet here with a, a nice big trophy in there um bit hard to get get into the detail on this but but never mind now we're going to have a close look at this uh this uh barber let's get this uh turned around so you can see uh, a little bit better in here there we go so as you can see we've got the the barber i'm getting i'm assuming that this is al and he's getting ready to uh cut the air of this uh this uh police officer here uh in here it's a smaller area than what's on the on the pool hall, but you've got a nice lot of detail in here as well. In the windows, you've got a couple of wigs or styles of cuts that you know people can come in and get. And there's a sink in here with a sweeping brush, and also you do get the scissors. Now these are a brand new element, as far as I'm aware, it's a brand new element for this set, and you do get three of them. You get one in his hand, uh, one that goes on the sign on the front, and you get a spare set as well. So that is a really good bonus in this in this set also in the barbers uh you do get something i've never seen before and i'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but uh if i put it there you should be able to realize that there is actually a mirror under underneath these two lamps here this is actually a mirrored um uh it was a bit of card i was wondering what it was i nearly uh it came out of the packet and i thought well, well what's this but you know i kept it and i thought well it's in it's in the packet for a reason so i put it aside until until i got to the part of the instructions where it had this weird thing and i realized that it was a mirror and uh, 
I needed to peel off some backing to get to the mini f mirror finish. And that, that slots in there. It's got a great frame around it. It holds in there really nicely. And as you can um, see when I move this back, that, you know, uh, she's actually looking in the mirror as as the hair's getting cut so she can see what's happening, just as, as you would at the actual barbers or if you went to a hairdresser's. Uh, so really good detail on this ground floor. Really impressed by this. As with the model in general, I'm just really, really impressed. Going back to the uh, the front of the building now. Uh, this is back on the on the pool hauler. <laughs> this this bit. Uh, I, I saw it on the box and I thought, oh, they're going to be transparent stickers put over put over the windows. No, these are printed bricks. Um, I don't think I've seen it before. Uh, print on an actual uh, clear brick. Oh, you know, I've seen it many years ago really basic printing but this is a a proper logo um with the uh the actual um frame around the logo as well really cool printing uh there's these two that are identical and there's also a, a one more printed window that is um on the first floor moving on to the first floor now I'll show you the details of uh, this floor uh pretty cool uh, you've got the sign attached to here as well which does actually easily come off if you need it to just uh, one, one clip so yeah, just to show you that first actually as i've taken it off you might as well see this it is very cool how they've done this cool how they've done pool uh it's a few circles a, a line and a, and a and a right angle it's just you know the way that they design this stuff is, is fantastic uh you know obviously the guys at lego are the guys at lego because they know what they're doing but you know they really do think about what they're doing so in here then uh what we have is uh on this side there's uh there's a gap on these stairs where where the uh the lower floors come up here and you, you can come in here and um as you come up oh i've just just knocked the detective out of his uh his chair there by tilting this will sort that out uh but you come in here and you got a uh uh, toilet in this room here it's a nice uh, slanted door there uh to get into the uh into the cubicle uh which this looks like it's a a shared shared toilet room there uh so uh and then we can go through the corridor but uh before then this is amazing um idea that someone had onto this where you can put just push this window up here and you're onto the uh uh the fire escape and uh this uh this ladder that is on this fire escape is held by this, uh, there's a hook here that swings out and the ladder just pops down and that would uh, lead you down to the, uh, back down to the ground ground floor. Uh, pretty cool and that just uh, runs back up on its rails and you lock it back in and there we go. Uh, pretty, pretty cool indeed. What, what an idea. Fire escape on a building like this, they've really, really gone for it on, the, on whatever whatever they've uh, had to work with uh so we walk well we, we'll go back into the building and uh we can walk through this door which opens inwards uh and then there's a uh, nice rotating chair here in the in the detective's office and in here uh there's a, a lot of stuff i'm gonna actually pick up the, the detective uh well i'll put his uh fan back on the uh, on the desk there uh, uh, not as funny as the light. So we've got, we've got the detective, and uh, he's a pretty cool uh, minifigure. He's got one of the magnifying glasses that actually work. Uh, very, very nice work there. I'll put him aside for now because he's just going to fall out of his chair. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. In, inside here, we've got a full, full furnished uh, room in here. We've got a, a safe on this side, uh, which inside there, we've got some money and a, and a briefcase. And... Uh, close the door and also as you can see on the left hand side of the door here we've got a hat stand with a hat on there so so when when he when he uh the detective leaves his office you can take the hair piece off off the minifigure put the hat on there instead uh and then on the right side here we've got a working fan which um rotates pretty cool there you got a full um chest of uh drawers here filing cabinet and inside a couple of these drawers is actually uh some uh some letters and papers uh, as you can see there, we've got a paper on the uh, on his desk, which is obviously bought from the the little uh, vendor kiosk uh, that I've shown you already. Uh, and then also on here, there is a uh, a map, uh, which is a, a tile I've never seen before, an element I've never seen. A uh, nice cool map there. And uh, on the desk, as I've said already, there's a lamp on here as well. And there's more. There's more letters and. Uh, 
uh, evidence or papers and things like that. If you look on the uh, the far wall, there's a, a wanted poster, which is just there, so saying uh, saying who's looking for it. It's a guy guy in the hat. It's a guy in the hat. That's who's looking for that. That's who's that's that's who's uh, stolen the the pastries and donuts. I'm sure. And also where this uh, this uh, picture is here, this actually does uh, move to the side for a secret compartment with uh, a special letter in there or some secret secret evidence. All in all, this room is really, really well designed. You know, there's a lot in there, in there, in such a small space, but it doesn't feel like it's been crammed in there, as it can do with uh, some of these things. I try and put too much detail into one room, and uh, you can't really do much with it. But this, this one, you can get in there. You can do the stuff. You can enjoy uh, the items that are in there uh, without it feeling crammed. So they've really done well uh, with the design of this this floor. Here we go then, we're going to look at the second floor here. I've kept the roof uh, on there as well, uh, because, uh, well, it's all it's all part of the uh, the same thing, really. Uh, this is a, a roof section that comes off um, in one uh, one thing here. Uh, so, um, looking at this, there's not much detail up here. Uh, not on the, on the top anyway, it's just a, a flat terraced roof. Um, but on the outside, there's a nice, nice elements here. Um, not sure what these are from, but they are pretty cool, nice, uh, nice swirly elements. And the way that this all fits together, uh, if I can get this back on here, uh, is really nifty. The way it's designed, uh, cool. These uh, little parts here goes into the slots here, just underneath. So that is really good. So uh, on this uh, top floor here, we've got a, a kitchenette style area. Uh, fantastic. Uh, little area not as well designed as the floors below, but there's a smaller area up here anyway What you've got up here. You've got this uh, nice cat here who's looking at these uh, cookies have obviously just been been baked out of the uh, the kitchenette area here. It's got it's a four hob um, Oven with uh, Well, a uh, yeah, four hob oven with an opening front door. There's a couple of uh, uh, drawers uh, next to uh, that if I can get a good shot on there. There we go next to that these these don't open They're just you know stuck there, uh, but there is actually a nice rolling pin here that clips onto the wall pretty cool little rolling pin For baking and then in this cupboard you got a lovely saucepan there uh, cooking pot and also you got you got the uh, the ball here for putting maybe if you've got some fruit from another set you might be able to put some fruit in there or it's a mixing dish uh, to make more more cookies um, and items like that then we go on to the uh, the actual accessible roof terrace there's a door there that opens up and uh, the skylight there that goes looks into the detective's office uh, and I think the best absolute best feature of uh, all of this section is the water tower it was such a nice build to do such a nice little mini model in in here it's a it's a cog and some some uh, caterpillar tracks with with all these uh, um, tiles that go around it and it's such a great design I, I I can say it loads of times you know I do like that and um, before I get into that bit I'm actually gonna say uh, you know as well the, the front of the roof here this is absolutely fantastic this these uh, elements here, I believe, I mean, I've never seen them before uh, myself, but other people may have done from uh, from other sets. But I think these are from like a mech type thing. These are these are the hands or the, the fists from a mech uh, put together in a in a fantastic way to make this really nicely detailed um, roof uh, section, uh, the tiled section there. But you know, we, as with this and the water tower, the way that you know Lego Group uh, or the, the creator um, designers uh, put together these uh, these models and the way that they they think about these models to put them put them together in the way that they do, uh, absolutely incredible and astounding um, that they know how to use each each brick in such unique ways uh to create things uh like this and just even just something like that that's that's just a bit of um well not throwaway design but um you know something that it, it's subtle it's subtle it even blends in with there but it's so effective really really effective so uh i mean 
this is one of the best designed modulars I've got uh, from the ones that I've got I, I think straight away it's come out this year hopefully this is the uh, you know a uh, a view on what is uh, to come uh, in in the way of modulars and stuff like that so uh, I'm really impressed with this model one detail I forgot to show in the rest of the close-up I can't believe it <laughs> one of the best elements of the uh, the actual set is this printed brick the printed window ace brickman private detective um absolutely fantastic i i, I like this so much again like with the the roof section that i've just mentioned uh, the subtleness of it the 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 style of the writing on it and this this window does actually open up from the inside it pushes outwards as uh with the fire exit window that i've shown you there it is then that is the uh, detective's office uh I've said it a couple of times in the close-up, I'll say it again, I am really, really impressed with this model. Uh, it was a lot of fun to build, it did take a long time, as I say, it took about uh, eight, nearly nine hours. Uh, I mean, I had some uh, TV going on in the background, I mean, you can't, you can't hear that on the um, on the still photos, but, you know, uh, you know, it's just as background noise, I had, to, I had some TV going on, I actually got through uh, a couple of seasons of, uh, of, of a show, uh, so that, that's, that's how... Uh, that's how long it took me to to get through this uh, through this thing. So I am I'm really happy with with, with this model. I'm I'm really happy I picked it up. Uh, I'm, I've looked forward to it for a, a quite a long time. Uh, it's been it's been on show in in Lego stores or you know, in a in a cabinet showcasing what's coming up uh, um, first of January. This it was the, this next to a, a UCS Slave One. Um, so they they really uh, advertise this model more than I've seen uh, for for many other models that came about. Um, you know, look at looking at the picture now, it's just there's a lot in there. There is a lot of stuff in there. In, without um, without making it feel cramped or crowded, they 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 really um, thought about space um, and space management. Uh, really well there's uh, uh there's uh, even like a, a hidden passage in there and there is also another hidden secret door um so you know i don't i don't want to show off all all the the, the hidden parts or all, all the all the secrets you know that that's um that's for that's for the builder to find or the or the, the, the person that's going to play with it to find that's you know that that's that's part of the fun i suppose um the design of this model i i hope this is uh a, a test of uh, design of models that are to, to come um, maybe with the, the next modular or just uh, just with, you know Lego in general but you know I'm, I'm trying to get the, the the modulars and get get them what I can put together but uh, as I say I mean I, I've, I've built a few of the older ones like I've got I've got the uh, the Palace Cinema and the Grand Emporium uh, and even if you just look at the, between the Grand Emporium and this one the absolute level of detail and the the usage of the the bricks and the elements um it's just on a different you know, <laughs> on a different scale on a different wavelength um as the designers seem to be using the elements more and more they seem to be getting better and better with them which is a really good thing um for for us the the consumers and the builders and the uh, uh the people that will you know display and play with these things you know it's it's a good it's a good 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 way for it to go um, there's not much more I can I can say about this model that wouldn't be just um, reiterating what I've already said. So I think I will leave it there. Uh, I will definitely recommend that you buy this. I, I I I you know looked through it and I'm looking I'm looking down there because that's where I've got my models. Um, I mean the Palace Cinema was the first one I got and that's been my favourite model since since I I, I bought it uh, for the for the modulars, but this is the newest one and it's not my favorite because it's the newest one it's my favorite because it's got um it's got everything in it that is just fantastic the the, the design of it the, the the space the space usage the just the hidden extras the minifigures that come with it yeah they're, they're, they're not the best but they you know, there's the pretty cool minifigures with nice accessories um the way that it's more than just uh one thing uh, spread across all of it it's it's there's um four things in one you've got you've got the pool hall the the barbers the detective's office which is what the, the set is named after the detective's office but you've also got the uh, the little kitchen area and the uh, the um, toilet area uh, as well 
Um, so you've got you've got four separate parts in one building that doesn't feel like it's squished, uh, which is really really good design. Um, and, and speaking of that, is is um, that is one of the reasons why I didn't purchase the Simpsons house because on the outside it looked fantastic, perfect. When I opened it up, everything looked squashed and put into as small a space as possible, and it just didn't look right. Um, so you know. Things like that to me are pretty important that it's good space usage and space management. Um, I will leave it there. I uh, don't think I can say any more now, but I, I will leave it there. Um, buy this if you get the chance. Some places might have sold out, but wait for it to come back in stock and get this. Uh, and uh, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do uh, share and subscribe and like. All all of those will be appreciated. Now, all links for this particular model will be down in the description below me. Um, so um, so look down there, and then you'll get the links to the well <laughs> to, to my own sites, to my own my own links, and also links uh, to get the um, the actual <laughs> model from uh, the Lego website, uh, but going now and uh, we will see you guys on the next March Model Moment. Mm -hmm.